Hi, my name is Adam Bao, and I'm a junior from Baton Rouge Magnet High School. A couple weeks ago, my classmates and I went to NOMA, the New Orleans Museum of Art. Over there, our art history teacher, Ms. Bumgardner, asked us to analyze a, an artwork we found interesting. The artwork I found interesting was the Mounted Warrior Veranda Post. Here's a picture. The Mounted Warrior Veranda Post was created by Oole of East Se uh, in 1910-1914 and uh, during this vlog I will be citing uh, sources mainly from what I learned in class and also from africa.si.edu. According to NOMA, the Mounted Warrior Veranda Post Ope Ile was made in the was made out of wood and pigment, and it portrays a soldier or a warrior who's riding off into battle, or he could also be coming back from battle. Uh, all we know is he's uh, clad in lots of armor as well as weapons, such as the spear, the machete, the torso armor here, the horse. And he even has this uh, amulet or a medallion, to sh which is probably either a protective charm or maybe something to show his status. And if you, you can't really see it here, but if you look off to the side, you'll even see a gun. The use of hierarchy of scale is also apparent in this work of art because the man here is larger than the horse and the trickster god off to the side, which symbolizes his dominance or more important than either uh, other objects. In addition, the horse is also, also shows a hierarchy of scale because the face is larger than the body, uh, and his defining characteristics such as the ears, and then the face is also elongated. Uh, both the man and the horse have protruded eyes, and the man has a sharp beard, a broad nose, wide grin, and also uh, a headdress that's flat on the top. Uh, this is very characteristic of the Yorub Yoruba people. And as for the flat headdress on top, that was meant to hold the house of the Athene. European influence can also be seen through this artwork through the saddle and also as you saw off to the side, there was also a gun. These things weren't really found during in Europe during... Well, these things were not found in Africa. Only after Europeans came did they see these. Victory can be assumed in this painting because the trickster got off to the side is playing a flute. This might symbolize how uh, they're celebrating victory and the white grin also affirms that claim. Uh, the veranda post by Ole of Ise demonstrates the uh, artist's extraordinary carving skill. As you can see, it's very detailed. Uh, it's not clear, but uh, he put a lot of emphasis on the designs of this uh, rain here as well as the armor and as you can see is very it was built well carved or sculpted in the round uh, in addition this veranda post serves as a political and social function politically it portrays the social status of the man portrayed uh, as well as the strength of the king for having such a strong warrior in his arsenal. Socially, it portrays the social norm 
of soldier going into bell, as well as the hierarchy of power, which is known uh, by how he's situated in the fiend's home. He's also standing upright, which shows how uh, his status, as well as the uh, well, his status in the king's home. In it, more on to social function, it portrays how warriors should, and well, an ideal warrior should be both brave, proud, confident, and strong. As I mentioned before, Ole of Issei uh, made five other veranda posts in addition to this one. I, each one has a different motif, such as this one. This one was also made out of pigment uh, and wood. It's also sculpted in the round, with very, which is, and is also made very detailed. In addition, uh, you can also see hierarchy of scale with the woman in the background, well, not in the background, in the back being larger than the king, and the trickster god and children on, at the bottom. Uh, the king can be inferred because he has the crown and he's seated on the throne, and this, uh, and though they are made by the same people, uh, the difference in their motif is very apparent. This one describes how the woman is very essential to the Yoruba people. Uh, their culture is that uh, the king cannot rule without a wife. Uh, contrary to many European, or really the rest of the world, uh, they value women uh, more than many other cultures. Uh, so while this one describes the motif of how women are very powerful in society, or in, they're important, the Mountain Warrior Veranda Post uh, displays, uh, displays the social norm for uh, warriors. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something about the Mountain Warrior Veranda Post and have a nice day.